afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Redberry Leo here, and welcome back to another Civil Air Patrol ish video. Today, I am going back into that series that I was previously doing in regard to sewing stuff onto your uniform. So, just as a quick little reminder here, you've got our tape, our Civil Air Patrol tape sewn on. In my last video, I mentioned I would do some hand stitches on the back. And I'll show you right here. Let me see if I can get it close to my camera without making too much noise. So you can see a few little hand stitches across here in the back. Um, I did those just so that it would actually stay down. And so now it's not popping up off of the uniform, which is really important. You don't want it popping off and you want to make sure that it's just nice and flat. And so everything else is set and ready to go. Now the next thing that we can do is we're gonna put on a wing patch. So I have a demo wing patch right here and I've got my uniform top right here, this nice blouse. And so the regulations state that the wing commander decides whether or not the wing patch is mandatory. It varies between state to state, but from what I know, most wings require the wing patch. And unless you hear differently, I recommend just getting the wing patch when you're buying the rest of your patches from Vanguard and make sure that you've got that and you can put it onto your left sleeve. So in the regulation, it says that it has to be centered on the left sleeve. So it's the wearer's left sleeve centered on this seam. So this is the seam right here and it's half an inch underneath that seam. So it's about here on, on this sleeve. And so I'm gonna go through the process. I'm actually gonna hop into my different camera view. The mic quality is a little bit different, but I think it works. So we're gonna try that out and I will show you all the materials and such over there. So I'll see you over there. Okay, hello everyone and welcome to camera number two. So we've got our table here and this is where I'm actually going to be doing the sewing just so that you can see it. And so here are the things that we need. We need our pins. Our pins are what we used in the last video. And just as a reminder, it's basically like what a needle is, except it's got the pin head here so that it's easier for us to be able to put it into fabric and pull it back out again. So I've got a little box right here. We've also got a sewing needle. Whoop, let me see if I can actually pick this up. <laughs> nope. Nope, I'm not doing it. Okay, so this is our sewing needle, and so we need to make sure that there's a little hole for the eye, or the, well, that's called the eye of the needle. We're gonna put the thread through that portion of the needle uh, when we're doing it. We also need our patch, and we need the blouse. Now, there is one thing missing here that we don't have in our pile, and that is the thread. We need thread in order to make sure that this stays down. We want to make sure that it's a color that matches this. Now I have a nice little set that someone gave me. Um, this is the same brand of thread that I had from my previous video. It's called Dual Duty. And so I, I thought it, it was nice of them to give me this gift. And so it says, so happy. Hmm. So, so happy. And it's got a nice variety of colors. I'm going to do my best here to pick a color in my selection of thread that matches this. And so I'm looking here, these purple and black colors don't really match, but there is one blue that gets pretty darn close, and that's this blue right here. So I think I'm going to select this one. It's never been used before. How about that? So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put these, so happy, away. And we're going to get ready to put our patch onto our sleeve. So actually, I do need one more thing, and that is my ruler. So give me one quick second here. Okay, so I've got my nice ruler that I've used for many inspections, and we need to find our left sleeve. So let me grab that. Ta-da! We've got the left sleeve here. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. I don't want to lose the needle. Needles are fairly easy to lose, and if you do accidentally drop it on your carpet or something, use a magnet and just don't step in the spot that you dropped it, and the magnet will help you find your way. I normally store them in the top of my bobbins here just so that I know where it is and it won't go anywhere. So I'm going to put these things to the side and I'm going to measure out a half an inch from the seam. 
So this is actually the back side of the sleeve here. The seam that it's referring to is here, right here, and we want to make sure that it's centered on the sleeve. So if I were wearing it, I want to make sure that it's in the middle. So I'm going to put this on just for a quick second here. I'm wearing it, see? And so I'm looking here, and so this center section right here is really where it needs to be. And so my patch, the center of the patch needs to be at the center of the sleeve and it needs to be half an inch down. Okay, so I'm just going to take that off here really quickly and I'm going to find the center of my patch. So the center of my patch is, well, I, I can measure this, so I'm, I'm actually going to measure this. Um, so it is about seven and a half ish centimeters across. So I'm going to find three and a quarter ish. Three and a quarter is about here. So I'm going to mark that with my pin. Boop. Right about there. And I think I want to make sure that it's centered on the patch, like this, the center of the patch on the top and the bottom is following that line, just so that it's not adrift in the wind. And so I'm going to do the same process with the bottom here. I'm going to look, I'm going to see that distance. Okay. And then find this distance as well. It's about here for the center of the patch. Oddly enough, okay, maybe maybe the center of the patch is right here. Okay, yeah, it's about there. Okay, so we've got that center line. You don't need to do this. Um, I just want it to be lined up nicely and so our patch needs to be a half an inch down along this so I'm taking out my ruler I'm measuring down half an inch and then I'm going to do something called pinning so I'm going to pin it in this spot I'm going to try to find a thinner spot and make sure I do not go through the entire sleeve I don't want to close the sleeve off and I'm going to poke through the sleeve and then back through the patch. So you can see it goes on the front side and the back side here. If I'm using a sewing machine, I want to make sure that there's enough space between the patch itself and the pins that we're using just so that it does not interfere with the foot. But for now, we're, we're going to keep that there. That looks good. And we're going to go ahead and do another pin because I know one pin is okay, but two pins is pretty secure. So I'm going to make sure again that it does not go through both sides of the sleeve. It's just going through the one side of the sleeve that the patch is actually on. So like I can still put my arm through the sleeve. That's very important because you need to be able to wear your sleeves. So we've got the patch laid down and it's in its spot. And the next step that we're going to do is the sewing. Like we, we can move on to the sewing. I'm just going to verify that that is still half an inch. Looks like it shifted just a little bit. So I might take these pins out and redo it. This patch, especially the, the shoulder patch, is probably the most challenging one you can put on your uniform. Like doing the little badges right here is actually really straightforward. It's not that hard to do. And doing your insignia is also relatively easy because you just measure out the inch from the edge. This one, this one is the funkiest because it's on the shoulder. To verify that the patch is in the correct spot, my recommendation is to try it on and make sure you don't poke yourself with the pins. Just be careful of that. Put it on, look in the mirror, have someone else look at it on your shoulder and make sure it is centered. So I'm going to really quickly check this and I'm going to adjust it as needed. Feel free to pause the video here as you need to and try it on to make sure it is in the right spot. Now I'm just going to make sure that this is all nice and flat and 
I have not pinned through the sleeve. Just to verify, I'm putting my hand in. And I'm actually going to keep my one hand in when I'm sewing. So for this next step of the process, I'm just going to get a decently long piece of thread. And I'm going to cut it. Just like that. And I'm going to use that end that I've started out with. And I'm going to do some knots here. So if you've never tied knots before, you can just do the simple shoe first step knot. Um, I forget the name of what that one is, but it's just uh, you have the string and you make a loop with it, just like this. So it looks like a fish almost. Now I know that's hard to see with the black in the background, but then you put the one end through the fish and it should make a loop sort of like this. You can see my loop here and then you pull it tight and you want to make sure that it ha it creates a little knot at the end so that it won't come out. So you can see there's a knot forming right here. I'm just going to make sure that I pull this all the way to that spot and so that the knot is all in just that one area. Oops, let me try that one more time. And it's okay if you have a little tail right now, we will cut that later. Uh, for now, we're just gonna focus on creating that decent knot. So you can see I've got a nice little knot right here and it should be good for us sewing this patch on. This string may not necessarily be long enough right now. That's okay, we don't need it to be perfect because we can always cut more later. So now we're going to take the thread and put it through the eye of the needle. Sometimes it's a little hard to do if the end is frayed so you might need to cut that end or you could get it a little bit wet. Um, you could wet your fingers and then wet the end of the thread just so that it fits better. And I'm going to pull it so that I've got a decently long tail following the needle and that's so that I can just, I, I don't have it falling out of the eye of the needle because that can be a really annoying problem. So we've got our patch set, and so I'm going to actually start on the back side. So I'm going to put my sleeve over here. I'm going to go in through the back. I have my one hand on the inside, one hand on the outside. And I'm going to poke initially through the sleeve. So we are poking through the sleeve, but not quite through the patch just yet. And then I'm going to poke through the patch. And I'm doing that just along the edge where the sewing is. So the, the needle is right here as I'm poking through, as you can see right on that edge of the patch right here. And I'm just gonna pull that through. Okay, so we've done our first step. And so now we've, we, we make sure we give it a little quick yank here. The knot is secure and it's gonna work for us. So I'm just gonna follow this in here. So I'm looking at where that initial starting point is for that stitch and I want to make sure that they're not too far apart or else it becomes very noticeable. So I'm just going to actually do about the same size as some of that stitching on the edge of the patch. I'm going to poke that back in. I'm going to pull through with my right hand. My left hand is still holding the sleeve in the patch and I'm going to then do my next step of just poking it back through again. I'm going to poke back through, poke through the patch, along that edge. And there you go. So now we've got a few little stitches here. And we want to make sure that the patch is still laying flat as we're doing this. Just so that it is actually being pulled toward the sleeve in a good way. It seems that my pin got in the way here, so I might need to pull it back. Go back, please. And unstuck it. There we go. I know it's a little bit difficult to see. I'm doing my best here to make it visible of how I'm doing this. It is pretty challenging to do this by hand, but I just wanted to show you guys so that if you do end up having to do stuff by hand, you do have this video to show you how to do it. Um, let me 
Let me move my camera just a little bit so I don't have to raise my hands so much. I think this is a good camera angle right here. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to continue doing this. And for me, with these stitches that I'm doing, I'm keeping them relatively close together because I know that this uniform is going to be washed very frequently. Like if I'm doing encampment or if I'm doing ES activities, I will need to wash it after every single one of those. And if I'm like repelling off a tower, I don't want to worry about my patch falling off. I've, I've known some cases where people sew these things by hand and then they just fall off because they didn't do a sturdy job of sewing it down. And so uh, yeah, that, that can cause problems in the long term and it could make you even redo the patch in sewing it back on. So that's why I'm doing them so close to each other, just to keep it a little bit more secure and snug on the surface. And that's, it looks nice, it, it looks professional and it's good. So I'm just going to check the back side here to see how that's looking. It looks like I accidentally knotted this up just a little bit. And that's okay. Um, I'm going to probably need to tie this off again just to make sure that it doesn't do anything. But like you can see that these stitches are pretty close together. Not too bad. And it should hold everything in place. It is much more challenging to do it by hand, at least for me. Um, some people like doing things in hand by hand in general. I prefer the machine, so if you do have a machine, even though it might take a few tries, like it's easier to redo machine work than it is by hand. So I'm going to go ahead and continue here. And sometimes patches are thick, so it can be a little challenging to push it through. And that's another reason why I like machine sewing, because it doesn't hurt your hands as much. And it's just generally more secure because you, you have the stitches on the top and the bottom of the fabric. Uh, this one you do not, you just have that one thread that's holding everything together. But as you remember with that previous video, if you watched it, um, you've got those two dual threads, the one coming from the bobbin and one coming from the top. And it, it works very nicely together as they, they basically do this, which is super nice and super convenient. And I seem to have lost my thread, so I'm just going to redo it, put it through the head of the needle. So we're nearing halfway through the patch right now. It's been quite the process, I will say. Um, I have personally never really sewn my patches on by hand, so this is uh, quite the thing for me. Uh, quite the process. It like If you watch my other video, it, it only took me about, hmm, I'm gonna say five minutes sewing, max. This one, this is pretty labor intensive. Just trying to make sure that it stays aligned while also poking a needle through a very thick patch. But I will say that it is easier to poke through this patch than it is to poke through the name tape and the Civil Air Patrol tape. 
Where's my needle? <laughs> I'm trying to poke it through right now in the corner. And it's it's not picking up. Oh, there it is. Hello, friend. And I'm still making sure that I'm not accidentally going through the other side of the sleeve because I don't want to sew my sleeve shut. That would really not be ideal. And I'm just going to take a quick peek here on the back side. You can see how this stitching looks. Um, I'm doing these and I, I've actually started to make them a little wider, a little longer, but I think it will do for our purposes here. So I'm going to go ahead and sit in a more comfortable chair because I'm currently squatting at my little nice Ikea table. And so I will give you guys a quick update in just a little bit once I've made more progress. So I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after an extraordinarily long amount of time trying to sew by hand, I have done it. Ta-da! There it is. And so I will show you right here the handiwork that I have done. It's not perfect. Oops, wrong direction. Whoop. Here we go. <laughs> so you can see down here, there was a point where I tied it off and I started anew. And there was also some, like right here, I accidentally made a little dot. Uh, well, it's a knot because, well, it sort of got caught up in itself so I tied it off and so I have three separate knots here. I do need to cut this one to be a little bit smaller but that's how it looks guys. Wait is it going to focus? Yes it is okay now it's focused. So that's what it looks like. Hand sewing is much harder than doing it by machine. My thumb is red and my pointer finger is red on my uniform it looks good um i do need to press down this patch because it does have a little bit of a fold in it i received it from someone else and so i need to press that out but this looks good and so if you do find that the patch is not placed the way that you need it to be you will have to take it out and redo it which is why doing it by machine is a lot better and i will be doing a video on how to take patches off so if you do need to take this off and redo it then that video will be for you and I will see you all in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to do your wing patch. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. And that is all, folks. Until next time. Toodles.